What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, I did want to do a versus video as far as the Kobe 6 Pro Tro versus the Serious Player Only Player 1 Plus. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so as far as the traction goes on both of these shoes right here, as you can see, the Kobe 6 Pro Tro has a translucent outsole in the forefoot and a solid rubber outsole here at the heel. And how these perform on clean or dirty floors are fantastic. Now they do take some time to break in, so you do have to be patient with this outsole because it doesn't start out very good, but the more that you wear them, they perform great. A very loud squeak, great stops on clean floors. On dirty floors, you'll have to wipe every so often, but they still perform great. Now on the Serious Player Only Player One Plus, you have this herringbone kind of spiral wound traction pattern. And this was my favorite traction pattern of 2023. And that leads us into 2024. It's still performing fantastic. It is a solid rubber outsole right here. And on clean floors, these are absolutely one of the best traction patterns out still. On dirty floors, you may have to wipe every so often, but they still do an amazing job. So just an elite traction pattern here on these serious player only player one plus and i do think i could recommend these outdoors because the rubber compound is a bit more firm than the kobe 6 pro tro so really they are neck and neck but if i did have to give the edge to one shoe over the other i would say the serious player only player one plus outsole performs just a little bit better than the kobe 6 pro tro now, as far as the cushioning goes on both of these shoes, the cushioning on the Kobe 6 Pro Tro has a Cushlon midsole and a forefoot zoom turbo bag that runs the full length of the forefoot. A very nice responsive setup that keeps you very close to the floor. I would have preferred to have a large volume zoom bag at the back, but you just don't get that. You only get Cushlon. But the zoom bag at the front is very snappy and very close to the floor. So a very nice setup here in the Kobe 6 Pro Tro as far as the cushioning goes. Just a very responsive setup. Now with the Serious Player Only Player One Plus, obviously this shoe is built more like the Kobe 8s. Um, so they do have drop-in midsoles. You have the light, the quick, the strength, and the explosive drop-in midsole. Now I believe this one comes with the light and the strength. Now both drop-in midsoles are more or less the same. It's a full-length EVA Phylon foam material, but with the strength, you get an ETPU-based foam, this white portion here at the forefoot and the heel, and then kind of these little gel pods right here. It's a very responsive setup, very nice underfoot, um, very nice impact protection at the back of the shoe, while the forefoot maintains very close contact to the floor. So I really enjoy this setup. My favorite from the brand though is the explosive drop in midsole. Which you can get on their website for I believe 40 or 50 USD, but stock versus stock with the two drop in midsoles here, and then the Cushlon and the four foot zoom bag. I would have to give the slight edge to the Kobe 6 Pro Tro as far as how it performs on cart with me liking it just a little bit better. But again, if this shoe came with the explosive drop in midsole, I would pick the cushioning on this shoe over the Kobe 6 Pro Tro, but I still very much enjoy the strength drop in midsole that comes with this shoe because it's a very nice and balanced cushion setup, basically for players one through five, but overall, both very nice cushion setups. Now, as far as the fit goes on both of these shoes, I'm gonna get it out of the way right off the bat. They both fit superb, and I'm gonna say it's a tie. So with the Kobe 6 Pro Tro, they do fit pretty small and narrow, but it's a very form-fitting basketball shoe, a very snug one-to-one -one fit. It does take some time to break in, which is a little bit uncomfortable, but once this shoe is broken in, it just forms to your foot. And the insole on this guy right here is kind of like that styrofoam insole on the KD models. Um, but overall, a very nice fitting basketball shoe. I recommend you going up half a size. Um, if you're a wide footer, probably up a full size. But overall, I love the fit of the Kobe 6 Pro Tro. On the Player One Plus, I went with a size 11 as well. A very snug form fitting shoe. My toe is basically right at the end of the shoe right here and it just fits my foot perfect. Honestly, out of all of the shoes on the market right now, 
Anytime I put this shoe on to hoop, it feels like a sock on my foot. It's just so form fitting and it just feels like it's made for my foot. In my opinion, as far as the fit goes, would be a tie. As far as the materials go on the Kobe 6 Pro Tro, you do have a patent leather material with a mesh material running throughout the upper with these little fuse like snakeskin scales running throughout. You also have fly wire running through this upper to add some extra support. And then the tongue is kind of that pro combat mesh tongue. And then the top is very thin. Overall, the materials are nothing special, but they do perform very, very nice. And they're very strong on foot. I love the materials at the back. You do have like a synthetic leather rand here at the back of the shoe. And then you basically have this screen mesh material, which is like paper thin. And then you have all of these strands running throughout the upper to add some extra strength throughout. The tongue is very perforated as you can see right here and then some leather hits at the top of the tongue as well. So overall for 180 USD versus 190 if you can get them, uh, the resale price on these is like five or 550 USD. These are readily available at all times on SeriousPlayerOnly.com. So as far as the materials go, I would have to say I actually like the Player One Plus better. I just think it's more performance driven and more lightweight and breathable here versus the Kobe 6 Pro Tro, but I still love this shoe. It's a fantastic performer. I just think the materials are just a little bit better. Um, one other thing is you do have this fuse rand that does run all the way around the toe box as well. But just as far as the materials go on court, I think this is absolutely superb. As far as the weight goes on both of these shoes right here, they're both a US size 11. The Player One Plus comes in at 14.5 ounces. Whereas the Kobe 6 Pro Tro comes in at 13 ounces even. So about an ounce and a half lighter. So I would say these are definitely the lighter option. They, they really feel lightweight on foot, but these are no slouch. A very lightweight basketball shoe, all things considered. But the Kobe 6 Pro Tro definitely takes the cake as far as the lightweight nature. Now, as far as the support goes, starting at the back of the shoe, you do have this plastic TPU external heel counter. Moving your way down from that, you do have that Cushlon midsole that does wrap up just a little bit. And then this upper has fly wire strands running throughout. And this upper is very strong and reliable as far as those hard lateral cuts. You're not gonna have any issues with this shoe as long as you get your proper size and a very snug fit. Moving your way down from that, you have a very wide and stable base with this huge outrigger right here which is gonna help prevent your foot from teetering over if you do land awkwardly. And then last but not least, you do have a carbon fiber shank plate right here at the midfoot for some support and torsional rigidity. Here. You do have this TPU external counter and a TPU internal counter. So you do have two heel counters here as far as support. It does a fantastic job of offering support and lockdown here at the back of the shoe. Moving your way forward from that, that screen mesh with like this fly wire like strands running throughout the upper is just so supportive and strong when you make those hard lateral cuts coupled with this TPU kind of wing right here. So again, that is a plastic material to harness your foot in when you make those hard lateral cuts. This shoe is very supportive, if one of, if not the most supportive low top basketball shoes. Moving your way down from that, you have a very wide and stable base with a similar outrigger like you have on the Kobe 6 Pro Tro. And then right here at the midfoot, you do have a carbon fiber shank plate that runs just a little bit longer than the Kobe 6 one. This one runs from about here to here. It does a great job of offering torsional rigidity. And then last but not least, this drop-in midsole has these sidewalls that offer some containment as well. So as far as the support goes on both of these shoes, both very supportive shoes, for positions one through five. I don't think you'll have an issue with either one of them, but if I did have to give the edge to one over the other, again, I've played extensively in both of these models, I would have to give the edge to the Player One Plus. I think it's just a little bit more supportive and updated for today's use for players. But again, this is no slouch. This is a great performing basketball shoe as far as support goes.
So that's gonna do it for today's performance review on the Kobe 6 Pro Tro versus the Player One Plus. Sound off in the comments if you guys have tried either one of these and what you think as far as performance goes. Again, these retail for 190 USD, these for 180. These are readily available on their website at all times. These, if you don't get them on release date, you are out of luck or you're paying absurd prices and the performance does not match the price on this right here as far as the secondary market. The performance absolutely matches the price for retail with the two drop in midsoles and just all of the supportive features, the traction, the cushion and support price. Now, if you didn't know, I did get two pairs of reverse Grinches for Travis Scott's new trainer shoe that I did get for retail. I traded the one shoe for two pairs of these so I didn't have to pay the absurd prices but sound off in the comments what you guys think of both of these shoes and if you've played in either one of them but that's going to do it for today's video as always if you guys could like comment and subscribe that definitely helps the channel a ton and check out my instagram over at sneaker tech talk as it is an extension of my youtube channel with all my pickups basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole thanks for watching today's video and until next time peace